and I read, Qatar has a low crime rate. Pickpocketing, bag snatching, and other petty crime is rare but can happen. Keep an eye open on your belongings, especially in crowded places. Banking and credit card fraud can or care. So now I had uh, people asking me how safe is Qatar, right? Anyways, my name is Malik Stanley. If this is your first time watching me, kindly be sure to subscribe. I just want to share my opinion. With over half a decade that I've lived in Qatar, I feel like I have a voice uh, and want to share my opinion or my thoughts. Like, is Qatar really, really, really safe? Scratch whatever you see on the internet. I'm here. I want to tell you what I see here or what I've seen or what I've heard or what I've even experienced by myself, right? So I'll be honest, Qatar is a very safe country. In all standards. You would be bothered walking 2 a.m. outside never maybe sometimes in your home country you might even feel scared walking at night or even in your own room you might even be scared that oh what if i leave my door open and then i just sleep off what happens next i have people who park their cars without even locking them they even leave the key inside typical example is my friend tosin that is what he does he parks his car and then he leaves the key inside sometimes i'll just be walking by his car i just look through the window i'll find the key stuck in there you know in the car and then i'll just take a picture i'll send it to you i'm like bro why are you go leave your your key for your car inside you're like oh well, this is nakata now who go who tifa i'm nobody go take her i'm like okay but then again Qatar is safe Qatar is safe but then you don't put yourself in situation like this my friend did imagine he wakes up the next morning and he doesn't find his car there what is he going to report to the police i left my car outside i woke up the next morning and it's not there okay where is the key i fucking left the key in the car <laughs> Who are you going to blame? Now, let me share my typical first example. So, I think back in 2020, right? So, we went outside. Uh, it was an open area. We were just playing football. And then I left my airport. I think I've shared this story before. I left my airport, airport, airport too, back then. So, uh, you know, I left it I left it over there. I came back home. It's been like a week because we usually play on, week, on weekends. So, it was like a, on a Friday, we played and then we play football, right? So, I left my airport there. I came home with my bicycle. I was like, what the hell did I leave my airport? So then again, on iPhone, right? You can you can you can look for it. It's on the find. It's on the find me, is it? Find right on the find um, app. So I went there and then I was just looking for my iPhone. Um, I mean, looking for my airports. And then it was at the same location that I left. I, I went there. It was super dusty. It was very dirty. And during the week, it's not like people haven't visited that place. People have visited that place, but it's like things that are not for them. They will never touch them. So that was how lucky I was around that time. Now, my second encounter was I'm leaving my notebooks in, in an Uber, right? Was it an Uber or a Karwa? I think it was a Karwa. So now, mind you, whenever... One thing that I've realized most people do, now Uber, everything is digital, right? So they send you your e-visa. I'm sorry, damn. Look at me talking about visas. They send you your e-ticket, receipt. Yeah, they send you your receipt. So your receipt will either be on your email or sometimes yeah, it will be on the Uber app. So whenever you want it, you can check the receipt. You can know the details of the driver or even the car number. But now they don't even include it. That is one thing I don't understand about Uber. At least the driver's number has to be on the receipt. So you know, if there's a, any emergency, you can call the driver. You can reach out the. You, you can reach out to the driver because Im imagine you leaving your phone in an uber and then the uber leaves you are trying to figure out how to get to the uber driver now you need to call uber office they need to be like okay wait on the phone now they will have to go connect bro that shit is too long it's too long because around the same time the driver will be picking other customers which might probably find your item in the in the in the car and if you're not lucky enough they will take it away so Uber, please work on that. This is, come on, we are in 2024. What is this? So that is it. I left my notebooks in Karwa taxi, and yeah, talking about Karwa also. Whenever you you order a ride or when you're done with Karwa, you need to collect your receipt. You need to collect your receipt. I, for one, have never ever collected any receipt from Karwa. Never ever. I just go down and. I, I mean, whenever I get to my destination, I just pay and then done. I just go. I don't care about the receipt. Until that day when I left my notebooks. Shut up. Until that day when I left my notebooks in the in the taxi, that was when I realized how important these receipts are. Because then I couldn't get it. I tried calling Karwa. They're like, okay, what's the car number? I didn't know because I didn't have the receipt. Okay, where's your pickup and where was your drop-off? Of course, I told them, but... 
there has been thousands of pickups thousands of drop-offs at the same pin location so what are you going to do you don't get them back but again they say Qatar is safe Qatar is safe but don't be stupid <laughs> that's the thing it's safe do not be stupid now that is my second encounter my third encounter, I was with my girl, right? Then we booked an Uber. What even pissed me off is that this Uber driver was super nice. Guess what? At the end of the trip, I tipped him. When we booked, it was just like eight reals. And then I, I, I gave him a tip. I gave him 15 reals, right? So uh, that's eight plus, um, how much? Plus seven. That's like paying twice the amount of the price of, of, the, of the booking, right? Because he was nice, his car was, really good it was like literally new car we had a nice conversation and then my lady left her phone in the car now the funny thing is okay fine we could we could go to the email and retrieve the receipt and then quickly get to the driver but the funny thing is she booked the uber with her phone now her phone is stuck in the car <sighs> we tried reaching the driver so i think we tried to call the driver it wasn't going through so i quickly had to come home quickly logged logged in her apple id on my laptop and then we started tracking the phone so the phone was on it was turned on and then at some particular point the phone was turned off I'm like this driver at this point i'm like no this driver cannot do this because he was super sweet he was super nice probably someone else took the phone and you know switch off the phone or something like that so you, you know it right if you're an, uh, an apple user whenever uh, any of your apple devices gets um lost or like a phone especially or even the iwatch you could um send a message which cannot be even removed from 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 the display so you just write a message that yo my phone is missing or i lost my phone and this is my number so you should call me back please that is exactly what i did i just wrote that and then i left it so the phone went off now before the phone went off someone had called me it was a filipino lady so my lady had my picture on her profile uh, no as her wallpaper right so um the 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 so now the uber driver had another booking and it was two filipino ladies right so the driver didn't know how to switch off the iphone she gave it to the two ladies to try and put it off for for him so this were the questions they asked him they're like why do you want to put it off and then he said, it's for my girlfriend, but I'm fighting with him. So I cannot, uh, I don't want him, I don't want her to know that I have her phone. So the girl was like, if it's for your girlfriend, why are you turning it off? She's like, he's like, just turn it off and give it to me. Okay. So before that, before the lady turned the phone off, she saw my message on the screen that my phone is lost. So call me back. So she took my number. She just took a quick picture and then she called me. <laughs> She's like, yeah, we've seen. Now, maybe someone might be asking that, why didn't we go to the police to report? It's because we don't even know the car number. On the receipt, there is no, uh, no, we didn't have the receipt, right? Because we tried to log in my lady's Gmail account. It was two-way verification. So we still needed her phone to log in, right? So now that we found someone who had recently booked that same Uber, then we could look for that person so we could get the receipt now after getting the receipt we could go to the police station to lodge a complaint right that's good so that is exactly what we did let's cut the long story short we did that and we were able to get to the police station i mean we were able to get to these two girls they had dinner they were having dinner they wanted us to eat i'm like no i'm not in the mood because mind you the phone like we left the phone in the car like 2 p.m and we got it back like 2 a.m 2 a.m that's how many hours 2 a.m. That was when we got it. We kept on calling. We kept on calling. We kept on calling. This guy never answered. So when we got to, we got the receipt. We went to the police station. Apparently, this guy probably doesn't even have a license, and he's driving that car. So I don't know how they got him. The drive. Uh, the police people called him. They asked him to come to the station. He came there, and the first question they asked him, hey, "Why you take phone? Phone? Phone for you?" like no it's not for me they said so why did you turn the phone off he said because people kept on calling and he didn't want the phone to die they're like okay so why didn't you return it to the uber office because there's an uber head office over here so they were like why didn't you return it to the uber head office he said, i'm waiting till tomorrow what do you mean till tomorrow the owner of the phone is looking for the phone so why are you waiting till tomorrow then that was him 
he was right there, he was smiling at me. This is the same person I tipped off twice the price of the Uber or twice the price of the of the ride. I gave him money. He was all smiley and all nice. That was the second incident. The third incident, a very good friend of mine, Leo. So I bought sneakers for him and you know to cut cost he told me to just put it in Uber and then the, I should pay the Uber when the Uber gets to him. Or no, I should put it in Uber, give his number to the Uber driver or should share the Uber ride with him so that when the Uber driver gets there, he will just go and collect the sneakers from the driver. So I just booked the Uber, I put this, I packaged the sneaker nicely, the, the, the driver asked me, Habibi, what is this? I said, yeah, it's this, this shoe for my brother, you give my brother. He said, okay. Then like five minutes after he took off, I just received the message that the driver has arrived. I'm like, from here to Leo's place, it's not five minutes. Even if there's no traffic, there's no way you could get from here to that place within five minutes. I called Leo. Have you received it? He said, no. I said, have you seen that the driver has ended the ride? He said, yes. So what do we do now? Now I had the receipt. I was able to track and it was very early. It was like 4 or 5 p.m. So we're able to reach um, Uber head office here in city, West Bay, I think so. So they gave me the driver's number. I started calling him. I called this I called him tired. I called this driver, called, called, called. I told him I'm reporting him to the police. Then he said, ah, he didn't know. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. He said he didn't know, he didn't, he did not know that uh, I said he should deliver the shoes or the sneakers to someone. I thought, he thought I said he should keep it. I'm like, bro, listen to yourself, listen to yourself again. Does this make sense to you? This shit you're saying, does it make sense? From nowhere, I don't know you. I just book you and then I give you the sneakers. Ah, keep it. So what was the booking for? What was the location for? So he delivered it to, for, for me, I wanted him to bring it back to me so I could deal with him personally, but he didn't come to me. He still went to where he was supposed to deliver the shoes and then he delivered it there. So you think this place is still safe? It's safe, but the people are not safe. The country itself, Qatar is safe. People are not safe. Most people are stupid. So. Don't ever put yourself in a situation where you feel like, I'm going to leave this here, I'll go and then I'll come back for it. Just know, even in heaven, there are bad people over there. Mm -hmm. Even in a group of good people or in a group of good company, there will still be a bad nut, there will still be bad people in there. So, just be mindful, take care, and uh, don't don't lose God. Don't, don't, don't fuck around. If you fuck around, you, <laughs> you will find out. Yeah, my name is Malik Sterling. And uh, yeah, it was nice sharing this story with you. Stay safe. Um, I love you more. I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye.